today's video we're going to have a face-off. We're going to have the AMD K6 3 Plus versus the Pentium 3. We review all technology from games to all PCs and don't forget the dog. We will learn all get ancient electronics. We cover it all. So when you work with a lot of different retro CPUs and processors, um, it comes up a lot. People will ask, how is this equivalent to uh, the Intel Pentium? Um, the Intel and its CPUs are kind of seen as sort of the default CPU. Now, AMD is, is a big player. We had other big players, uh, you know, in the 90s and in the past. We had Cyrix, and, and then, of course, we have the Motorola CPUs and PowerPC and all those. And it, it always inevitably comes up um, when you talk about a non-Intel CPU. Um, how does this, how is this CPU equivalent to the Intel CPU of the era? Because, as I said, it seems like Intel CPUs are just kind of seen as the default CPU. And that has come up a lot of times when we're talking about AMD's uh, you know, K6 processors. And the K6 III Plus uh, kind of being seen as the pinnacle of uh, Super Socket 7. Um, and this is in a time that Intel had you know, abandoned Socket 7. They had moved on to slot 1 with the Pentium uh, 2 and 3. So you always comes up like, how does the... Uh, the K6 3 Plus or the K6 3 or the K6 CPUs in general, what is their Intel equivalent uh, in the Pentium 2 or the Pentium 3 line? Um, and from what I've seen, you know, from other people's benchmarks and sites like Vogan's and things like that, you know, at its uh, fastest, the K6 3 Plus, running it at 550 or 600 megahertz, I've generally seen it equivalent to like a Pentium 2, like a faster Pentium 2. It's usually seen as the equivalent of maybe, um, you know, like a Pentium 2 300 or 350 or something around that mark uh, at best. What kind of spurred me to do this video is uh, recently I, I've seen a quote that someone was talking about um, online and they were talking about uh, the K63 Plus at 600 megahertz and they made the claim that it's clock for clock equivalent of the Intel Pentium 3. And I, I, I thought that was a bit of a stretch. Um, so I just wanted to kind of do kind of an informal, kind of a laid back, probably short video. And we're just going to test that theory a little bit. Again, this isn't going to be like a really in-depth uh, scientific video. I'm just going to take my uh, AMD K63 Plus machine that I've recently done a couple of videos on. Um, you should watch those if you haven't yet. And I'm just going to put it up against uh, this Dell Dimension. Um, this originally had a 700 megahertz uh, Pentium 3 in there, but I have put a uh, 450 megahertz uh, Pentium 3. So what we more or less have is kind of the fastest you can get a K63 Plus at versus the slowest uh, Pentium 3. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. So we'll go over these machines again uh, briefly, and then we'll, we'll take a look at some benchmarks and a couple games, and we'll see how it goes. Now luckily, uh, because I just did a big video on the AMD K6 III Plus, um, I already have a lot of benchmarks for this machine, so it'll really be a matter of just benchmarking this guy here, and just see how it compares. So for our K6 III Plus machine here, uh, we're going with a, a GA5AX motherboard, uh, probably seen as one of the better, the high-end motherboards for hosting the K6 III Plus. Um, the CPU I am using is a modified uh, K6 II Plus modified to a K6 III Plus. Again, um, if you're not sure what that is, uh, watch my last video on this specific machine. Um, it's basically just a little mod uh, done on the AMD K6 II Plus 570 megahertz processors, and it turns them into a K6 III Plus processors with usually very good uh, overclocking abilities. Now, I, I'm not 100% sure what the fastest official K6 III Plus is. I think there might be a very rare 550 megahertz a version of that chip that was officially released, um, but the the most common highest speed might be something like 533 megahertz. I'm not 100% sure, but generally these CPUs can 
easily be overclocked to 550 and even 600 megahertz. So I'm sort of going with 600 megahertz as sort of the fastest K6 3 Plus because um, that seems to be the fastest that these can be commonly overclocked to. So we're going with 600 megahertz for our K6 3 Plus. And for all of the tests, we are using a Voodoo 3 3000 uh, graphics card. So let's take a look at our Intel uh, Pentium 3 offering. And here is our offering from Intel. This is a Dell Dimension. Um, not sure of the motherboard, but it looks like, a, like an Intel motherboord. Um, it uses the Intel 440BX chipset, uh, which is a very nice chipset for Pentium uh, 3s. Uh, here we have our Pentium 3 450 megahertz, so this is the slowest of the Pentium 3s that were available. And I don't think I mentioned it uh, earlier, I think I forgot, uh, but both of this, the Intel and our AMD machine are running uh, 256 megabytes of memory. I would also like to point out real quick that other than the CPUs, obviously they're using different chipsets. Uh, a lot of other little differences, different hard drives, uh, even different sound cards. Uh, these things shouldn't make too much of a difference. Obviously, if we're in like very close in a margin of error, uh, we can say, oh, this or that sound card uh, hurt things by a couple FPS or something like that. But um, I don't think it's going to be that close. Uh, but uh, let's find out. So let's go take a look at some uh, some of those benchmark results. And here right away we can see that no, the uh, K63 Plus does not match the Pentium 3 450 uh, clock for clock. It just doesn't. Now, uh, again, I have to reiterate, this is a fairly small sample of benchmarks. It's like two games and three synthetic benchmarks. I know that is not a huge sample, uh, but to be honest, I just couldn't stomach doing more benchmarks after the last video where I, I did a ton of benchmarks. Because again, you got to realize I run these three times, take the average. It's a lot of benchmarks. Um, I, I think even with the small sample, though, it does give us a pretty clear image that, yeah, uh, they do. They are not, uh, you know, clock for clock the same here. Um, now, I'm not saying that maybe some, like, business applications that aren't intense, maybe you'd see some more parity between these CPUs, and maybe even some games. Um, there are some games that maybe these would would uh, come really close. I mean, MDK2, uh, they actually come pretty close. It's within like four uh, FPS here. So I'm not saying there isn't some games uh, that these CPUs would, would kind of uh, be equal, but I, I just think in general... Uh, you know, the, the Pentium 3 is going to, you know, mop the floor with the K63+, Plus, even at 600 megahertz, in general. Um, but, I mean, it's not that bad. I would say they're kind of in the same ballpark. Um, I mean, if if the Pentium 3 was, you know, down in the ball field, uh, at least the K63 isn't, like, on the other side of the valley, uh, you know, the other side of the city. It's, it's in the ballpark. It, it might be up in the bleachers, and they have to squint at each other and wave to make each other out, but they're in the same ballpark. I, I don't know. Is that a stupid analogy? Uh, but, yeah, it, it's not too far behind, but, I mean, the Pentium 3 is obviously ahead in all these synthetic benchmarks. MDK2, it's actually not that horrible. It's like 4 FPS, uh, give or take. Expendable, it's a, it's a pretty obvious difference there. Um, what is that? It's at least like 10 FPS, give or take. Um, so, yeah, not clock for clock, uh, you know, with with the Pentium 3. Um, but let's, let's spice things up a little bit here, and let's take a look at uh, actually a faster uh, K63+. Plus. So let's look at it if we actually do some more overclocking. So here we are, I've added some more results for the K6 3 Plus. Um, in orange, we have it with the front side bus overclocked to 110 uh, megahertz, so we're running at 106 uh, megahertz. And then the red is the K6 3 Plus uh, running at 633 megahertz, because our front side bus is overclocked to 115 uh, megahertz. Um, so I, ha I, I had these results from the last video I did. Um, so uh, looking at these, um, again, even even with the front side bus overclocks, in general, there's something we'll talk about here in a minute, but yeah, in general, the Pentium 3 uh, still wins out. Now, you'll notice I don't have the actual scores on this one, because 
Uh, it's kind of smished together. I did it first and like all the numbers jumbled together. It was a mess. Um, so I just left the numbers out. Uh, you can see pretty well with the synthetic benchmarks, but I will tell you just outright, uh, the Pentium 3 450 was still ahead in all of the benchmarks with MDK2 and Expendable. K63 got closer, but there was never a point where it was the same or faster uh, speed. Even with MDK2, I think uh, with every overclock, it only gained like 1 FPS. Um, so it came pretty, pretty close, but not quite. And I don't even know if I would like really count the 115 uh, megahertz front side bus overclock just because it was a little unstable 3d mark 2001 se uh wouldn't even run uh under that uh, overclock so i don't know if i would really count that as like a stable overclock but i, I wanted to add it anyways because it still gave us a little glimpse here now um as i was saying the one the one time that the uh k63 plus actually overcame the Pentium 3 was with the the highest overclock so that was running at 633 megahertz with 115 megahertz front side bus and that was in 3D Mark 99 and it did uh, overcome uh, the Pentium 3 by a little bit there but that's that's kind of a significant overclock I don't think that's something that a user would commonly be able to to get or do or pull off stably um, yeah, I wasn't even able to run it, everything completely stable at that overclock, so I don't know. Uh, but it did get like a noticeable improvement. Uh, I don't know what's going on with 3D Mark 99, um, but yeah, that was the, that was the only time. So yeah, I mean, pretty short video. Um, I didn't think it would be long, but yeah. I, again, this was just a casual look. Uh, you know. If you guys are watching and you want to, please, I encourage you, make your own video, do do the benchmarks yourself, do some tests yourself. I'd be very interested in uh, results from you guys uh, with this kind of thing. But yeah, I I, I mean, I, I can see I'm still, I guess if we want to give K63 Plus at 600 megahertz an equivalent, uh, I would still say like a Pentium 2. 300, 300 megahertz, if you want an overall in general equivalency, um, I guess I could actually test that, but I don't know, maybe I'll leave that for another video some other time maybe, um, I don't even know if it's necessary, uh, so I, but yeah, I would just say, you want an equivalent, I'd say a Pentium 2, 350, 300 megahertz in general, something like that, um, so Thanks for watching. Uh, like, love your comments. So if you have any comments, uh, please leave them in the comment section. If you have any results of your own or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you again for watching.